Hey Alex, do you want to let the people know what happened today? I got the boat. Yes, you got your first white white Haikido boat. boat. Look at that, dude. I think Mom's Alex. trying to get a picture. Okay, try that. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Well, it's not that it's a present, you've earned it because you've been training, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Good job. High five. Ah! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Fist? Fist bump. <laughs> Let me punch your mama! Don't! Don't punch your mama! <laughs> don't punch your mama! <laughs> Kiss your mama! Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, so it's a Wednesday evening already. As I said in the previous vlog, this week is pretty boring. All I've been doing um, was just getting ready uh, for taking my driver's license test. And another thing, I've been practicing parallel parking. Don't get me wrong, my driving skills are okay and I do parallel park. However, I can't always do this on the first try. So sometimes I need to readjust the car, which is okay, it's fine in real life but it's not fine for the test because if you hit the curb, that's it, you failed. So I really need to practice that so that I can do it on the first try. And plus, I am going to be nervous, so that's gonna affect my skills. And yeah, a lot of people told me that, like, what are you getting ready for? You already know the rules, however, guys, the rules are different in different countries. There's a lot of things you need to know here that are specific even for this state, the state of Indiana. So, I mean, I do know the like general rules of driving on roads, but there's a lot more that you need to know. For example, I'll give you an example. One of the questions is, when a probationary period is allowed, an Indiana driver's license must be suspended for blank before the probation period becomes effective. So for 15 days, for 30 days, for 10 days, for 60 days. This is the information you just need to know. You just need to learn this for 30 days, if you didn't know. Next question. These ones I just love. For driving between 16 or 25 miles per hour over the posted speed limit, blank points will be added to your driving record. So how many points will be added to your driving record? Six, eight, four, or two. How am I supposed to know this coming from Ukraine? I need to learn this. So that's what I'm doing this week. Also, I'll be filming a video for the main channel tomorrow, which will be pretty interesting. So if you're coming from the main channel, I'm just letting you know that the next video is going to be a pretty uh, interesting and useful one as well. Yeah. 
точки трага. Початку са в боксти, потом се приключат, що це таке. my makeup, do my hair, change out of my pajamas, and then I can start the movie. You will not believe this. I almost forgot to connect my mic to the camera. God, the quality of the picture in this camera is just it's just top notch i really wish i could use this one for vlogging but it's like it's big and it's bulky and it's heavy you just you know can't carry it around with you and i would be really afraid to break it because it's expensive it's hot but i'm looking off the soap Oh, I see. week it's not boring at all the 4th of July celebration uh, began on Friday which I didn't know that they uh, do this here we were at the festival yeah. and at the play festival uh, well whatever yes because it had a lot of rides yes there were rides and then we got on the tornado like I a little bit got scared of yeah Tornado ride, yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit scared of it. Mm hmm. I yeah. could tell. Dragon one was more scarier. Mm hmm. And. I'm just gonna hold the video. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm listening, and you know, the people on the internet, they're listening as well. Um, and, uh. <sighs> The dragon one and then uh the lightning mcqueen lightning mcqueen was that one scary no you liked that one yeah you i went I, mm -hmm. I i i went there by myself on the lightning mcqueen right um, mm -hmm. the shade right and then what we tried um merry go round right yeah <clears throat> and it was uh, a I horse, should say, horse one, like up and down. Yeah, mm -mm. they went up and down, up and down, and all around, right, in circles. Yeah. yeah. However, I should say, I think that I watched uh, too many horror movies where I've seen these merry-go-rounds. So when I was on that ride, I felt like I was in a horror movie. <laughs> I watched personally me. I watched the best 
firework show in my entire life. It lasted like for 20 minutes. Today is Saturday and apparently there's something else going on and we're gonna go and, um, I don't know, just take a look. And you know what I've noticed? I am so bad at filming and vlogging, you know, like in public because I just did not realize that that would be so hard with a child because you know, you go to these events and you wanna have fun and then you have to watch him and then you wanna film and it's just kind of, it's difficult. It's not that easy as it seems. <laughs> Got a bunch of stuff. you guys there was a situation uh when i posted a photo of me on the lake michigan beach um on my instagram and then there was this person who said like well this is what war in ukraine looks like now and i it it just you know i usually do not react but it just made me so angry to be honest because people are so inconsiderate i just went right into defending myself and explaining the situation like blah 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 you have no idea what's going on in someone else's life i don't have my own place to live i don't have a car i can't open a bank account there's so much stuff i need to do right now to figure out right now maybe it seems like everything is so great but believe me it's not it's, it's, it's difficult it's adjusting in a new country i'm trying to build a new life here by myself without my husband without my family with a child <laughs> but uh i posted my previous vlog where I talked about this already, like briefly, uh, because that's not the first time people say something like that, which is, which is okay. There's just those judgmental people and that's fine. But I started reading your comments, guys, and I was like, these people who watch my videos, they're just amazing they do understand the situation they do see what's going on they don't need any explanations of me saying that i wouldn't have traveled i don't have a car it's not my own place i don't have a place to live and, and all these things you don't need all that and i just don't need to worry about that so i just wanted to say that i'm so grateful to have such an amazing community of of just kind, open-minded, just lovely people all around. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Now, what I do want to say and what I do want to share because uh, it's become a problem for me. So because of this stress that I'm constantly experiencing, I started having nightmares and I mean we all have nightmares right some scary dreams every once in a while it all depends on the on our state of minds right and the the point we are in our lives <clears throat> we all have this I wouldn't have paid attention to that if it wasn't like almost every night and those are not just any kind of nightmare it's just something random something a little scary something that i don't remember afterwards all that i can remember is just waking up in the middle of the night you know like breathing heavily and no these nightmares are way too vivid way too realistic the kinds of nightmares when you wake up 
you do not realize that that was a dream and you do not understand that you have already woken up and it seems like this is a reality your brain is just like i don't know tricking you i'll give you an example it always starts the same i'm going to bed and then i'm turning on the light and then i take a look at the window here and i either can see oh my god my hands are shaking when i'm talking about this i i feel scared to be honest i feel scared so i either can see like a dark figure one time i saw this dark figure i got really scared because i thought like oh shit there's a person in the room with me what do i do and that figure started walking towards me and i woke up and then I kept kind of seeing that dark figure. And I did not realize that I that, that was a dream. I started like panicking. I kind of tried to run out of the room. But then when I started getting out of the bed, I finally understood that that was a dream. But I was soaking wet. I was sweating. And I was breathing so heavily. I, I could not catch my breath because I was so scared. And all of these dreams are pretty much all the same. I either see dark figures or something in the window and I wake up and I feel so scared. And right now I'm at the point where I am afraid to go to sleep. I feel super tired because you can imagine that I do not sleep well. I can't uh, fall asleep after that like for an hour or more. I feel very tired, but I don't want to go to sleep because it just keeps happening. I had this one dream that I just don't even want to talk about it because it's like sinister scary. It's not just scary, it's sinister scary. I know that this is a psychological thing and I just need to deal with my stress levels of my life. I just need to do something about it and medication is not going to help is just a short-term solution, not a long-term. I just need to deal with it, I know it. And you know, it's fine during the day. I mean, I do experience stress. However, I can always calm myself down. I can always think about the situation and it seems like I'm feeling fine. I don't know, maybe I have just gotten so used to this feeling of stress that I don't even realize that I'm stressed. I do know that I need to figure it out because I won't be able to function soon, but it's life, you know, guys? That was just a random chat with you. Okay, as I said, I'm so bad at vlogging these days. First of all, I did not realize that there's like this whole 4th of July weekend going on, that people celebrate the 4th of July throughout the whole weekend. It was fun, but I did not get to film almost anything because I forgot to charge my phone and my battery literally died. Plus, my phone is overheating and a lot of the times the camera just won't turn on. So, yeah, there's that. You know what, if that wasn't for my friend, I wouldn't have even gone to those parades and to those celebrations, but it was fun. I was curious. Another thing, I'm not feeling great today. I almost did not sleep. I would just wake up a lot of times throughout the night. I, I think this is just anxiety or something because um, I got really stressed out yesterday about that in a minute but right now it feels like i've been on a train for the whole night and i didn't sleep and now i just hear this you know noise in my head it's not a headache but my vision is a little blurry and i just hear this noise about me being stressed out and um anxious and about the yesterday situation that i think triggered all that um so yesterday we went to my uh friend's relative's house and as it turned out they had two dogs there they did not tell anything about those dogs did not warn us that there were dogs and alex you know like being a child he's 
pretty curious he's very sociable and he was like the first one to go in there so he went in there and those dogs they just jumped on him and then, literally attacked him and then bite my poo poo yeah and one of the dogs bit him but it's a patty part there's no blood in there yeah there there was no blood uh, because, there's just a bruise and a scratch, like yeah, from the teeth. Yeah, yeah, and red on my purple. Yeah, everything happened so fast. Nobody expected something like that. They jumped on him right away. He got scared because those were pretty big dogs. Like one of them was almost the size of Alex. Um, he got scared, he yelled, and one of the dogs started barking so loudly and aggressively, and then she bit him. That, like it wasn't hard but the the very fact that she bit him then I jumped over Alex I kind of uh, you know covered him with myself and they still tried to get to him they still wanted to bite him they were so aggressive they were jumping all, all over the place and those people they could not calm them down so they finally you know like uh, put them in the inside of the house he was so scared, he cried, I got so scared, I was so stressed out, I, you know, like, my legs literally shook. Um, it was, you know what, for, for a mother, it was really scary, I did not expect something like that. And, you know, they said that that was the first time something like that happened. But this is Alex, this is my child, he loves dogs, he's a good child. And the fact that they thought he was a threat is just ridiculous to me. And if that, in fact, happened for the first time, I think that this is something that they have to pay attention to because it's not normal, it's not good. I don't think it's normal for a dog to bite a child and I think that something like that might happen again but i love dogs don't get me wrong i love dogs i love animals but when it comes to my child's safety i don't think this is normal i was really scared and that was just that was just a crazy situation and then they were locked in one of the bedrooms and one of the bedroom doors goes outside and this is a glass door. They could see us and they would try to attack Alex from the inside. They would jump on the on that glass door. But they were locked. And then somehow one of the dogs opened that door and they went outside and they started running after Alex again. That man picked him up, but Alex like when did you fall down? When I was running away from the dogs, when when so Sam he, when Sam opened the door. Okay, so he started running away from the dogs. He fell down. He scraped his knee pretty badly, and then that man picked him up. Can you try? And then they locked them again. Knee? Well, I can't because we have this like. No, I won't show it with this. So okay. so you so you can see it like like with this. Mhm. Mm That's so soft. Mhm. Mm so, I mean, that was crazy. And he himself, he's a child, but he would try to justify their behavior. He would say that maybe they got scared and maybe they were just trying to protect their home, you know? Maybe they thought that I was abandoned or something. It was stressful. Sorry, guys, that I didn't manage to show you the whole celebration of the 4th of July, but I'm pretty sure that you got the idea of what's going on here. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here, and I think, hopefully, I'm gonna start another one tomorrow. Uh, however, <laughs> I have this one, and I have the previous vlog to edit. I haven't even started that. Thank you for watching this vlog, guys, and for supporting our channels, and, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>